detail with some of the cell biology, and it's not too bad. He does kind of hit the highlight, which is good. Uh, but you might go into a little more than you need. I'm going to give you the highlights of the highlights later on in the system to system school, graduate level, PhD, medical school, dental school, veterinary school, whatever you decide to go into. Then you can learn uh, in a little more detail. So, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it a thousand times. When you understand cell physiology, cell biology, medicine is just inevitable. Uh, everything that happens in the body happens at the cellular level, so everything that goes wrong in the body goes wrong at the cellular level, so everything that we correct in the body, we correct at the cellular level. You figure out how it works, you can probably figure out how to fix it. It's not like surgery. Surgery is nice. If you can see it in the surgery, if you can see it, you can fix it. Alright, the cell is the basic building block of the human body. The cell is the smallest independent functioning unit of the body. Every cell is responsible, for the most part, for itself. Which means it has to maintain its integrity. It has to maintain its electricity, its power, its ATP. It has to maintain if it is being destroyed on the inside by something else. It's up to, it, in, in fact, even to alert other cells, other um, parts of our immune system. If something is going wrong with it, its job is to say, hey, I got a problem here. You might want to take a look at this. And it puts a little marker on, it, on the outside. <coughs> so that the rest of the world can see it, or at least the rest of the body can see it, see that it's different. We talked a little bit about DNA, so when we get to that, obviously I'm not going to reiterate too much, but um, I do want you to understand some things with it. All right, so the cell is the smallest independent functioning part of the body. A group of the same cells working together is what we call tissue. A group of similar tissues all working for the same end is called an organ. A group of the same organs all working for the same purpose is called an organ system. And a group of the same bunch of organ systems all working together is, of course, for the benefit of the organism. So it goes in that order, in that hierarchy. Benign. Cells are the fundamental unit of a living thing. Some living things can be one cell. Uh, some living things can be multiple cells. Two cells. One cell. A thousand cells. A billion cells. A trillion cells. Even the cells between humans and other animals are very similar. Cells between humans and plants are even similar. To give you an idea, we are very, very close um, in our genetic makeup to chimpanzees. Very close. We're actually closer to chimpanzees than either one of us are, are to apes. In other words, chimpanzees and humans are closer relatives than chimpanzees and apes are. It's pretty amazing. We share chimpanzees and us. We share uh, 98, or nearly 98% of all the same DNA. It's kind of a lot. But then again, dolphins and humans share somewhere around 90% of the same DNA.